yeah. Well, since I haven't given you guys a video in way too long, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, daddy. I'm gonna do a toolbox tour, my little home box, and my half-assed shop that's a fucking disaster, but it's whatever. So, hold on. Ah, so cold. This is a Matco tool cart that I got from my old job. I got it for free. It's rough, but it holds tools. I moved all my Milwaukee stuff home. Um, other than that, this is pretty much everything I've always had at home. So basically we got three eighths. I think these are Cornwell. Yeah, Cornwell Blue Power. Um, three eighths metric. Cornwell Blue Power Impact metric. Cornwell Blue Power Impact Standard. That's on those mechanics time savers, uh, like friction ones. Those are I like those. Those are nice. And then Menagerie. Just I don't know what the fuck's going on. There's a whole bunch. Icon, the Husky, other thing. It's metric. It sucks. I don't use it that much. And then Cornwell Blue Power Standard Impacts. I like these. They're they're good for the money. I should have got Sun X, but whatever. Um, Icon. 3.8 impacts, my two snap-on mids, Icon, Chrome, Metrics, and then Matco ADV swivels, Metric, Impact. Uh, all my ratchets at home are Gear Inch 90 tooth. I really, really like these things, and for the money, can't argue with them. So I have the half-inch flex head, short one, the long one, the Stubbly, the 120 XP piece of shit. Uh, that thing's, I, don't, I actually don't even know why I have that. I have all the other 92 stuff. The Slimline Head 92 gear inch. Um, I just realized that the camera quality is fucking ass, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Matco Spline Drive. They were buy one, get one free for the quarter inch set. Swear on my life, never have used them. Paid like 300 bucks for them like a moron. See, I'm full of life lessons. Snap on, came with a 100th anniversary Christmas box in the hole. Cornwell, light, I'm amazed it's charged. Uh, gear wrench light, it's the, the booter fly light. This thing's actually pretty tits. I use it for lighting in some of my videos. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No, I don't. So, ooh, oh, hold on. We're on some next level shit here. Oh, daddy. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I don't. Snap on magnetic holder. Nut cups for holding your nuts. A Matco light that I've had for ever. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, that's just, that's nice. Look at it, sparkle. Ooh, the gear inch, deep and mid quarter inch drives, and then just some Craftsman half inch drives or whatever. Random extensions, broken drill bit, bits. Forgot to hide those. Uh, Matco screwdrivers, the weird handles that I don't like. That's why they're at home. I got them on the Facebook Marketplace or something like that. They were super cheap. Matco pry bars. And then this drawer is a bunch of shit. Uh, Weldon bash hammer, snap on dead blow, hose cutoff pliers, zip ties, Cornwell pliers, um, Matco reversible snap ring pliers that suck. That's why they're at home. A Bonnie service wrench, inch in a corner. Um, I only have one. I got a no size Jacobs service wrench. And then this older than dirt proto that's like super skinny i don't know why i had it i seen it at a pawn shop it was cheap i wanted it there's the quarter inch set that came with that 3 8 set the matco spline drives that i paid a million bucks for oh the uh cornwell brake caliper spreader i uh, don't get the cornwell one but get whoever makes the the real one that thing's awesome then this drawer we got nut drivers gear inch stabby things uh, the thing that never fails is slip and jab you in the finger. Uh, cheap picks. 
air hammer bits, one thread file for when I really fuck up, a impact driver without the bits, so that's super useful. I have the Matco, they were buy one, get one free, the uh, air die grinders. Uh, they're, they're nice. They're probably better than my snap-on ones at work, but whatever, they're here. Uh, a lighter for extracurricular activities, like burning rope. Sick bastards. Um, a midnight snack and a flappy disc. Down here, wrench drawer, uh, buh, 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 just the gear wrench. It's got the different bits, um, Allen and Torx and e torques and all that shit. Stubby gear wrenches, Craftsman wrenches, uh, Crescent wrenches, one tap it wrench and seven sixteenths and 1730 seconds. Yeah, totally use that all the time. I just thought it was cool and I bought it, but it, oh, look at it. So long, so thin, so nice. Gear wrench, yeah, the wrenches. I think you know how those fucking work. Power drawer. Ingersoll, Rand, Brandon, Cornwell, 100th anniversary impact. It's actually really nice. I like that gun. Cornwell air hammer. Milwaukee. And one snap on. I need to bring that to work, actually. Uh, that's pretty much that. That in the drawer. There's the die grinder and the impacts and the the stuff and the the yeah, you get it. And then down below on the bottom, I have a piece of foam. I have the old school brushed uh, snap-on impacts three eighths and a half. I got them a long time ago. They still work. They're good, but they they ain't nothing like that. Then the Milwaukee half inch with a 6.0 battery, bottle jack, flex on. And then a Cornwall slide hammers back there. And then I just put a little Matco side tray on it. Um, gloves, protect your dick beaters. That is the screw to beer break. That. That is a Parker Model 186A, I think, or 184A. It's one of the biggest vices Parker ever made. It's a monster. It weighs 174 pounds. I'm going to do a restoration video on that because that thing's tits. I'm just trying to get it to free up and move. I just, oh, so happy. This just, oh, just, mm. Flexzilla air hose with a chainsaw oil with one of those uh, Prevost, the click, click fittings. Those are nice. A 59 inch Mayhew Dominator. And there's a 40, 41 or 44 back there. Dominator pry bars. A uh, little work table that I made. It's whatever. It's kind of shit. It does this whole thing when you yank on it real hard. It's super safe. A big old waste of 50 bucks. And then an old craftsman box that my old boss gave me. Uh, I got a Forney welding hood. The Vipes. Shark jaws. Moist towelettes. For my, chap my chapped ass. Uh, Fred Bird. Huge Cardinals fan from St. Louis, so it makes sense. Um, keys, air blower, receipts for some customer stuff. I work on cars here. Air fittings. Um, yeah, everybody's got to have one. Steel carb adjustment screwdriver. SK. Big fuck off shirt. I mean, that's girth. Air fittings that I stole from my dad's work. Uh, they're really cool. You twist once and release the pressure, and you twist twice, and it pops it off. The problem is it has a giant air inlet, and it's only quarter inch. So I got like eight of them. They were in a bag. I thought they were cool. I took them home, and now they're useless. In here is just some extra screwdrivers. These are the ones I use to just beat on. I don't care. The, these are the only ones that are really worth a fuck. And then that wood one, because that looks cool. Oh, you piece of shit. Then down here, two excavator pins I use as beading pins. My favorite close quarters hammer, chalk line for home recreation. Uh, two pair of SK snap ring pliers that the tips are wore out on, so they're junk. Bunch of old pliers, some old vice grips. That's straight from China. And yeah, other than that, pretty much going on in there. 
Down yonder is my, this is where all my bastard sockets go. Everything, DeWalt, oh, oh I say that, and there's a Mako ADV in there, and an SK, <laughs> oh well. This is where most of my cheap sockets go. I just put them in here so I can modify them, fuck them up, and not care. This, this is where shit gets welded on. And down yonder, um, usually there's an O-ring kit in there, but it's over yonder in a bag. I was just did a road call, so. Uh, wall anchor kit. The always important water hose washers so you don't get your shit wet. Electrical connectors, rivets, just some smaller stuff. The jabby pokey thingy. And then down here is just like a whole saw and just random shit. A big extractor. Um, a spark plug hole fixer for steel chainsaws. That works awesome. One more random hole saw. Sorry if you guys hear road noise. I'm right on the road. And it seems like the Daytona 500 is happening right outside my house. Razor blade kit for when I'm depressed. Kidding. That's a joke. Fuck. Demonetized. Boom. Chuck keys. I need to bring one of those to work. Nah, fuck them. They can buy their own. And a private. Oh, if it don't fit, wig a little bit. Then down low, this is my wife's drawer. This is all her tools. It's like digging in her purse. Just leave it alone. One down low is electrical drawer. Uh, Cornwell multimeter. A, I think it's an Altel. I'm going to say that and I'm completely wrong. That's a Millennium 90. Um, I don't know who makes it. I can't remember. I can't remember if it's Altel or what. Oh, it's a launch. The launch Millennium 90. It's a nice little scanner. Pretty tits. Um, you know, I'll close that. Probably not. Uh, snap on. Uh, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, circuit tester with the voltage readout. Amp clamp for that. Um, the ever important wire strippers that are next to useless because you never have the room. Uh, for a spark tester, it's to get down in your deep holes. Um, another voltage tester, chicken stick. Make sure you don't light your ass up when your wife says, hey, honey, come check out this out. Spark tester. Um, this is not that. Well, it probably worked for that, but that's besides the point. This is a coil tester. So make sure you're, it works off a magnet in the coils of any gas engine. So basically, if it's magnetized, it lights up blue. So it's pretty cool. It was like worth the 20 bucks. It actually saves on some diagnostic time pretty quick. Or you just... Pull a fucking spark plug like a man. Tap kit, Diablo hole saws, hammer, shit. A big drawer full of nothing but American-made old wrenches. Um, old East Coast. Um, this is a good one. I think this is a right super wrench. And some goofy ass sizes. Like 25, 30 seconds. That thing's awesome. Uh, there's a whole bunch... All American-made old wrenches. I picked them up at pawn shops just over the years, just buying shit. Mac 7 8 15 16 the best hydraulic wrench ever. Oh, that's a heavy drawer. And then down at the bottom is all my abrasives and shit like that. Ugh. Other than that, bucket of screws. Stole from my father's work. Thanks, Dad. Clevises, chains, bench grinder, extension cords, saw of death. A steel MS660, parts for that, VP race fuel, and then my welding gloves down yonder, and then my baby vice. It's so cute. It does a job though. Snap on creeper, that's too nice to take to work, and a level. Fix that. Um, other than that, there really ain't a whole lot going on. This is. I don't know. I like it, but I need to get my Cornwall box, take my Cornwall box home and put it here so I can get rid of this or bring this to work and kind of do the, the flip-flop and have a nicer box here than at home. I'm going to be doing a review on a Snap-on three-quarter drive, 18 volt, the brand new brushless one. That's coming out soon. I just wanted to get some time with it and actually use it and see if it was actually worth a fuck or not. And then I'm going to do the review on the 3 8 brushless Snap-on Impact just got that give it you know a little bit of time and i'll put a review out on that i just don't want to go yeah it feels great in the hand and yeah it's shit so far i really like it and i've had it for about a week now 
and use it pretty much nonstop. I'm doing a big job on a scraper and I'm using it on shit it probably shouldn't be used on. And it, I've had no complaints. It's hotter than hell in July because I live in nice, sunny, humid Florida. There's moss growing on my ass cheeks. Um, other than that, that's really about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.